What is up, guys? I'm Zoff. I'm Rob. I'm Bryce. And this is Real Time. Today we're coming back at you with Season 2, Episode 7 of The Bear. This one is called Forks. The last episode was obviously the hour-long one, which was crazy. It was a flashback episode. Everybody came over for a big Christmas dinner, and it was just insane. Um, Donna, Donna Berzato, um, it, it dialed in a lot on her throughout the episode. Um, it seemed that she had something wrong with her, and at the end, obviously, it was just crazy she lost it drove the car into the house and i mean i can see why i can see why carmy wanted to get the hell out of the house for a while um it was just an, it felt like a psychotic psychotic household yeah last episode was awesome the whole cast and everything it was cool seeing their family members that we've maybe a couple of them heard about but yeah i think it was a big eye opener to what they faced growing up and maybe why they are a little bit that they are maybe what eventually pushed mikey i mean that could definitely be a reason that he was going through it so much it's just the stress from at home it seems like if especially it's not just christmas he was he lived there so he was surrounded by that every day probably uh, when he went home from a busy day at work so i could see that driving him pretty crazy and just putting a lot of stress on his mind when he's like supposed to be resting from work and then he has to come back to that i don't know i've seen a lot of comments about this episode like i did last episode it is hard to stay away hard to avoid them but a lot of people have said that this episode is just as good some have said that they like this one more than last episode so that's that's high expectations because the last episode was arguably the best one in the whole show um so i'm really excited to see this i really i honestly I don't know what it's going to be about just because like last one left off obviously with the flashback um i don't know do you think we could get another flashback or are we just going to pick right back off with like what's going on well when i see forks I, sydney's like the mo most recent stuff with sydney is her saying like we need to like figure out what forks spoons plates napkins. just every like utensil for the the thing so i was just thinking of uh mikey throwing forks at Mm. Um, that's true Lee I mean that was a big thing at the end of the last episode if you guys like our videos make sure you like comment subscribe check out our links in the description we've got the Patreon the Discord and all of our social medias as well as our P.O. Box and yeah we're going right into season 2 episode 7 of The Bear The Forks let's do it it's already in our flashback Coach K. oh it's a Coach K narration limits, you're gonna look bad and Coach you're K episode mm. and at West Point I learned <laughs> I just don't understand like it's so yeah, random that he's in this. There. She has some connection to him this season. She's been reading all about him. I think it's like a mentality thing. Richard. Oh. Richie Richard. I don't think we've seen his house yet. No. Mm -hmm. No. What is this place? I think I'm watching a horror show. Yeah, this is a unfamiliar feeling I'm getting from this to this show. I'm expecting to see like a freaking mutant monster crawling on the walls. Of like ritual is going on right there i feel i feel like he's in like some kind of like museum aquarium like type exhibit thing i don't know not literally those but looks like a restaurant yeah where the fuck are Maybe you like a Jeez. museum it's a restaurant of restaurants <laughs> straight up restaurant don't, don't tell me this is the bear no 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 they can't expand the building like that i was gonna say i'm garrett backway staff your forks change your shirt what oh i think carmy like how he sent tina and ibra somewhere i think he sent richie somewhere to work like customer service or actually like I think in the kitchen
This is a Richie episode. I, I'm getting Richie episode. It seems Chef, are we done with the forks? Scary. Yeah, Chef. Almost, Chef. Let me ask you, every star shine fucking forks? Mm. First week is forks, and if you get lucky, you make it to spoons. Can we chill out on the swearing too, How long please? am I supposed to be here? A week. No, he's just right. going to be staging forks for a week. Thanks, Junior. Where's the boss? Which one? Big boss. Capo. Terry. Chef Terry's always watching. A skeleton up there? Yep. The chef. I've been doing this forever. Can I wash the dishes or something? No, we got the best dishwashers in the world. You're just going to slow them. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't clean. I've been doing this for nine hours. I think I know what's clean. I'm telling you that's not clean. That was not clean either. Please do them properly. Yeah, or they're goddamn forks. Oh. Really drink this Kool-Aid, huh? Yeah, I do. Why? Because I love this, Richie. I love this so much. Did you know that when this restaurant opened 12 years ago, it won the best restaurant in the world the same year? It's retained three stars because we have a Wow. Waiting at any given moment long. Do you see their faces when they walk in here? How stoked they are to see us and how stoked we have to be to serve them? Any given moment, one of those people that is waiting in line gets to eat here. They get to spend their time and their money here. I'm sorry, bro. Streaks in them. Every day here is the freaking... Facts, dude. You gotta be perfect at your own thing, even as small as it is. I need you to respect me. I need you to respect the staff. I need you to respect the diners. And I need you to respect yourself. This guy's not asking for too much at all. The bare minimum, honestly. Be a good worker. I can do respect. Lovely. I'll see you inside. Tonight's PONs include... Kimberly Fox, district... Just shows how much respect the Carmi has amongst the industry. He can just be like, yeah, let my cousin Richie yeah. come <laughs> do the forks. Bo Burnham. Bo Burnham? At 7.15, we have Tim and Jill Perry. They're both Elmhurst High School teachers. And every supplement and caviar, please. A tour of the kitchen, a champagne... Damn, it's so in-depth. They know everyone that's coming, their story. Do not drop a check. I want to blow their fucking minds. Last thing. Richie, you gotta nail these forks today. Own up to them with immediacy, integrity, and honesty. Does anyone want to talk anymore about the smudge? Did Richie smudge? What is the smudge? Couple menu updates. Uh, I thought that was McLovin. That's gonna be the six course of Dungeness crab with grapefruit and champagne. Did you talk about the smudge? Oh, I know this sounds ridiculous. I am aware that I've had to say the word fucking smudge 20 times in the last two days, but we had to reset the plate with the smudge because persimmon glaze was smudged. We have to match the other three plates to the smudge plate, which costs us 45 seconds. 47 seconds. 47 seconds. Now we're going to pay for it. Now get back to work. Fuck you, Garrett. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Bro, I would not want to work here. Yes, Chef, fuck me. Yeah, that would be way too intimidating. Chef! Hey. Hi. Well, they can show her. Alright. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, I just want you to hear it from me. Um... Is she getting married or is she pregnant, pregnant with someone else? Um, Frank uh -oh. proposed to me. Yeah. Okay. What'd you say? He's like a really good guy. Mm. I'm hurting for you, Richie. That's awesome. <laughs> He's a new man. Attack the day, Richie. Let's go.
We're gonna crush the fork. No spoons. Trailer there. Get changed. Oh, oh, let's go. No more forks. No more forks. No more forks. Those humans are cool. <laughs> oh, Richie. Richie's gonna be good after this, like for the restaurant. Hey, look at that. What is that? Looks like a little bonsai tree. Cotton candy, it is. Maybe it's for the birthday. Oh, wow. All right. We have the hibiscus tea. So mm. nice. Small bites. Whoa! I guess cotton candy, it just melts and shit. Yeah. But that's awesome. Bro. That was sweet. So nine, Emily overheard her tell her family that she was bummed that she was leaving Chicago without getting a chance to try deep dish. Got it. Thank you. What? What's the surprise? <laughs> What's the surprise? You're making deep dish. Nope. What? <laughs> we're, nope. We're getting them a deep dish. Richie's job is to go get them deep dish. Dude, what is this restaurant? This is cool. Walk four, wag you to 21. Oh, I've never had deep dish. Me either. I'm not a fan of the way it looks. It's not really a pizza, I would say. I mean, you know what I mean. Okay, so they're actually adding their own twist to it. Yeah. Chef. Can I the table? That's a big job, Richard. I did that one time when I worked at a restaurant because Kurt Angle was <laughs> eating there. I was like, can I please take him his plain chicken breast? They're like, yeah, go for it. Here, thank you. Uh, but I couldn't live with myself if I let this beautiful family Pequod's deep. Oh. Manja, baby. <laughs> oh my god, you all are wonderful. No, stop it. Good? The old fashioned's not gonna drink itself. You guys want some Bacardi and Diet? A little B&D? <laughs> Should I send some over? <laughs> Enjoy, guys. All right. Good job. Taylor, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift in the background. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Richie is a very personable guy. Like, mm -hmm. he's good at talking to people. Definitely. Just if he has, like, the right attitude and stuff i think it'll be perfect apple cider gets streak apple cider gets streak that's my freaking boy right there. <laughs> <laughs> i love seeing him thrive right now he's finding purpose that's what he's been looking for Ooh, yeah, sure is. Oh, oh, really uh, what year he's hadouken yes and what Save me there to fucking humiliate me, you fucking jag off. Make me look like a fucking jag off. What You're are you talking about, Richie? What the fuck you talking about? Fact, chill. Yeah, I'll talk to you. Later. Richie, huh? He did that. He sent you there to help you, to help you get better. Yeah, he sent everyone somewhere. Like, he didn't try to get rid of them. What if he, like,. Goofs off oh. today. I don't think he went to work. He's usually up at 5.30. Mm -hmm. Oh my <laughs> god, look at those two. <laughs> That's hilarious. You know where the polish is? The bullshit keeps moving. Oh my god, oh, Olivia, Olivia Coleman? Coleman? What the what? fuck? That's Who's awesome. That? She's in a whole bunch. She's um very famous, very famous UK actor. She's in she's Nick's mom though in Heartstopper. How's that? That's great. So she's like the head chef here, because he he's asking like where's Big Boss Chef Terry, and this is Chef Terry. How do you do this? <laughs> yeah. I think the time spent doing this is time well spent. Time well spent? That's what it's all about? When did that start? 
Oh, I used to, I tried to open a giant place years ago. Never too late kind of thing. Yeah, never too late to start over. It was meant to be. Being here is your sign, Richie. Maybe that's why Carmi sent him here. Because she is a very... She's an inspiring woman. Yeah. Resonates with him well. Thank you. He believes in you, you know? What makes you say that? He said you're good with people. He's not wrong. Aww. Well, nice talking to you, sir. Likewise, sir. See, Richie, he didn't send you here with malicious intent. He's just here to help you. Every second counts. It's like the motto of this restaurant. <laughs> Richie is a Swifty, for real. All right, big Richie episode. Um, I think he's found his motivation there at the end. Every second counts. I think he's gonna go back to the bear and be a different person. I mean, not maybe completely different, but he's going to have motivation again. He's still going to be, because he has to be Richie the whole time. But now I think he's going to be motivated and he's going to help the bear rise to, to fame and get stars themselves. Yeah, I really, I, I see why everyone was talking about this episode. I really like this one, like a lot. One of my favorites of the whole show, for sure. But it was just so cool seeing the perspective of a restaurant like that. They said it was the best restaurant in the world. In the world, yeah. And just how it operates like a like a machine or something like it has so many moving parts and stuff and obviously every restaurant's like that but not to that degree that i've ever seen like even he was on forks for a week pretty much like dude the whole like we have a car go pick you up if you are the next on the waiting list or yeah. it's just a crazy thought to me maybe it makes more sense because they're in a city yeah and a lot of people probably don't have cars but yeah, that, it's really, really awesome, and I'm just really looking forward to the opening, the reopening of the bear, or the opening of the bear, I guess you could say, mm -hmm. because I feel like Carmi and Sydney have sent everyone off to, like, they're, like, forming the, like, Avengers right now, yeah. like, everyone just leveling up like crazy. That's what I was gonna say. The, it, by the time it opens, it's not, it's gonna be just so different, like, I, I'm just wondering if they're gonna all be this great, if there's gonna be a season three and if so like what's gonna be the issue because everyone's gonna be at the top of their game mm -hmm. i don't know well that that's what i was gonna say is like everything is like a solo mission right now everyone's split up and it's it's obviously like building towards coming together at the end but i just for some reason i'm not fully convinced yet that it's gonna be good when everyone comes together in the end because that's just how this show is i don't know like i still feel like there's an inevitable blow up coming and i don't know i just i, I want to see how everyone like works together when everyone's back in one spot because i really want it to work and i want it to be good because like you said everyone is leveling up but um i'm still worried about the whole like sydney and carmy thing i feel like it's it's gonna be rough if if they don't figure their stuff out first at least one thing that we still need to to see is ibra i feel like that was yeah. pretty brushed over i'm just thinking about who's left because obviously the season's been pretty much solely one character focused episodes mm -hmm. maybe and, fact maybe fact maybe sugar yeah we haven't gotten a sugar episode so but yeah the whole ibra thing I don't know what the heck he's doing right now. I know Tina's leveling up. She's doing great. He just isn't showing up. So I think we'll learn more about him soon. But hopefully, I mean, it's four weeks out now. Hopefully by the end of the season, we can at least see what it's like. I could mm -hmm. see next season being like the restaurant in this episode where it's just super per, like High exquisite, end. professional. And, and I'm sure problems present themselves even at that level if not more so maybe it'll be more like that but i would love to see richie working at like a high-end restaurant in the suit and tie stuff like that that would just be awesome but the thing is that she said that was like a family business like it's kind of started with to similar 
with a similar path to the bear, I would say. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the whole, at least in my opinion, that's the idea is maybe the bear can make it there one day. You guys, if you like our videos, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, check out our links in the description. We've got the Patreon, the Discord, and all of our social medias, as well as our P.O. box. And yeah, we'll catch you guys next time for Season 2, Episode 8 of The Bear. Peace out.